look who's here now, David Barnson, who joins us at a perfect time because David specializes in stocks that pay a high dividend, a solid dividend, and a growing dividend. There's a lot of people who would like that kind of stock right now, David Barnson, and you're here with some suggestions. First off, Gilead Sciences. What does it pay? How good is it? Well, you know, Gilead got kind of well known in the American public last year because they make remdesivir, which is one of the big therapeutics used in treating COVID-19. President Trump famously took it. <clears throat> Gilead pays a 4.3% dividend yield. But here's the thing, Stuart. They have $4 billion of cash on hand net that can be used for acquisition. These biotech companies are always subject to a big pop up when they get a drug approval. We saw what happened with Biogen with the Alzheimer's drug last year. Gilead is a great pipeline. It's a well-run company. They make over $6 billion a year on $25 billion of revenue. Gilead's a big dividend payer, but in a high growth sector like biotech. And by the way, unlike big tech, Biotech is not at risk of getting broken up and having a bipartisan hearing go sure. against it. Sure. So we think Gilead is in a better sector and a better name. 4.3%, not bad at all. How about Walgreens? Walgreens is an interesting story because it's gone through a lot of trouble. There were a lot of acquisitions, Dwayne Reed and, and Rite Aid and different things that took place and as a brick and mortar business. But they've now really settled. The stock was at 80 a few years ago. It came down to 30 around the time of the election and is now back up into the mid 50s. And so it's one of our best performers this year. It's a big holding for us at my firm. It has grown its dividend for almost 50 straight years and it yields about three and a half percent and growing that dividend all the time. If someone had bought it just six months ago, they locked in a five percent dividend yield. It's just that the stock has grown a bunch. And I think that their worst times are far behind them. There's even talk of a private equity takeover down the line. OK, last one, American Electric Power. What does it pay? You know, I always come on your show and talk about exciting companies. We talk about Blackstone, which, by the way, is almost at $100 yeah. this morning. I know. American Electric Power <laughs> is a utility company, and I barely ever talk about utilities. It's the only utility name we own. Very boring sector, but they have a high market share in about 10 states for electricity. Three and a half percent dividend yield. And we just think this is the right name in terms of their execution, their financial metrics. Uh, three and a half yield that has grown uh, rapidly over the last 10 years, AEP. Uh, I do want to thank David Barnson for the advice that he gave me about 18 months, maybe two years ago. He said, buy Blackstone because it paid at that time a six percent dividend. I bought it at around 31, 32. It's now at 98. Thank you, David Barnson. You're a wonderful guy, a great guest on the show. Yeah. You can come back anytime you like. And I've still not sold well, Stuart, Blackstone, I, by the way. I think it's going higher. And, and can yeah. I just say one thing? The, the, the dividend yield right now may be 3.5%, and when you bought it, it was 6 it But the dividend yeah. is tripled. The dividend is tripled. It's just that the stock price has come up so much. Those are the stories we love, and, and I'm so glad you're in it with your family, and, and it's a name that our clients have done well with, too. Yeah. You're a good man, Barnson, and that's a fact. And we will see you again real soon, David. Thank you very much, sir. Appreciate it.